I just spoke with the king of Saudi Arabia, who denies any knowledge of what took place with regard to, as he said, his Saudi Arabian citizen. I've asked, and he firmly denied that. I've asked Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to immediately get on a plane, go to Saudi Arabia, go to other places if necessary, which he probably will. But with regard to this, go to Turkey if necessary. The king told me that Turkey and Saudi Arabia are working hand in hand very closely on getting to the bottom of what happened. We are going to leave nothing uncovered. With that being said, the king firmly denied any knowledge of it. He didn't really know. Maybe, I, I don't want to get into his mind, but it sounded to me like maybe these could have been rogue killers. Who knows? We're going to try getting to the bottom of it very soon. But his was a flat denial. All I can do is report what he told me, and he told me in a very firm way that uh, they had no knowledge of it. He said it very strongly. I can only tell you that his denial to me was just one very, you know, relatively fast phone call, probably lasted 20 minutes. His denial to me could not have been stronger, that he had no knowledge, and it sounded like he, uh, and also the Crown Prince, had no knowledge. The world is watching, the world is talking, and this is very important to get to the bottom of it. And I think he understands that very well. He did say very strongly that he's dealing with Turkey, that they've come to an agreement, that they're investigating it together, and I think that's a good thing.